bet that's right because I've got an insanely big beer in front of me. That's right, you see stage, right? The symbol on the front of this card, and that's right, it's a beer from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Delaware, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. So you know what the hell's up. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, guys, we're going local yet again with another Dogfish Head Craft Brewery beer. And what beer is it today? You heard me say it was a big-ass beer. That's right, it's their Old School Barley Wine 2017 edition. That's right, this was bottled in January of 2017. Just a few scant days from the time of recording. Now, this is a barley wine. I'm not saying American or English because it's kind of like a cross between them. Why is that? Well, it's a rotating serving, but that's not why. It's a cross between them because they said they use, you know, a really selection, big selection of fine hops. It's clocking in at 85 IBUs, but they use 100% Maris Otter in this beer. Then they condition it on dates and figs, but you heard me say before that this was a big ass beer. That's right. This is one they've been making since 2002, and it clocks in at a whopping 15% ABV. Whoo! It is time. Now, I worked nearly, that's right, I worked nearly 15 hours today. So I figured I have earned 1% ABV for every one of those freaking hours I worked. So it's time to stop flapping my gums, pop the top on this bad boy, get into the snap top, and tell you us with Dogfish Heads Old School Barley Wine. 2017 edition, hell yes. Boom, gigantic hiss of, off the top. Tons of kind of smoke, obsessively collectible dogfish head. Caution crown, hell yes. Mmm, I can smell the hops and the dates and stuff blasting off of this, damn. Mm-hmm, woo-hoo, I love me some barley wine. I love big barley wines. Well, you guys know I like the big beers. Ah, that's looking good. And I definitely love me some dogfish head beer. I'm I'm an admitted dogfish head fanboy. I haven't liked everything that they've done. Man, figgy and datey like fruits are blasting off of this beer from here. Sorry, I was, I'm digressing. You're not surprised, but anyway, um, I but I do generally like a lot of what they do, especially their big beers, because I'm kind of down with that. So let's see what's up with the appearance of old school. It is a crystal clear sort of garnet orange color. Tons of streaming bubbles are coming up from the bottom of this non-nucleated snifter. We have a solid and pretty well lasting one finger head of super tightly packed khaki off-white bubbles. And for a 15% beer, that is great staying power on a head. I'm impressed. So when I swirl it, man, the head's actually regenerating some. We're getting glass lacing already. And there's freaking alcohol curtains just clawing down the inside of this glass. Damn, look at that. That is a beautiful beer, but you know what? It's got to smell good, too, so let's see what's up with the aroma! Woo, she's big. You can smell a little bit of booziness. It's not like like harsh, biting phenolic alcohol, but it's telling you I'm a big fermented beverage. Plums. Sweet, sweet, like, malt coming off of this. There's actually a bit of spiciness as well. Mmm. Raisiny kind of aroma, like rum soaked, booze soaked raisins. You know, if you have like a like a rum raisin ice cream, or like that actually has really so rum, real rum soaked raisins in it, or like a rum cake, or maybe like a fruit cake that's just had the booze doused on top of it. That's kind of like what this smells like. Mm, layers of fruit, sweetness, honeysuckle, like floral hops. Maybe a bit of citrus, but that spice note is coming up big. I had this beer a long time ago. Like I said, they've been doing this since 2002. I think the first time I drank this was like like 2008, 9, somewhere around in that range. I can't remember. It's been a long time ago. Mm, but it smells delicious. I've had a trying day. I'm ready for a big beer. I'm diving in, guys. Cheers! Woo! Yeah. That is big. Damn. Definite, definite sipper. Up front, you get a big alcohol bite, but like sweet alcohol. You can tell that this is definitely a barley wine that needs to cellar for a little while. They actually suggest on the bottle digging a two by two hole, putting this in a bag and burying it under the ground for like a year or so and letting it cellar. I don't know if I'd suggest that. Excuse me. But this beer is a freaking monster. It's not as hot as I thought it would be or remember it being. I think when the last time I had this, I'd had a couple brewskis beforehand. That's a pair of thought, right? But I don't remember it being this, like, like up in your grill. It's not, like, obnoxious or anything, but it's a big beer. If you're not a fan of big 
booze forward beers. This is just step up off of this for about like a year or two. Don't even touch it because it's up in your grill now and it's it's a monster. It's just a big barley wine. I think at one time this was the strongest barley wine there was. But I mean 15% for a natural fermentation, you know, like this and worldwide stout, they're just, just beasts. Mm. Wow. You can it tastes like it's almost like you're drinking like a bourbon or a liqueur more than you're drinking a beer. It's actually got some like vanilla nose kind to it. It gives me some like bourbon-esque kind of echoes when I drink it, but I know it's not bourbon. It's a beer. Excuse me. Fruity, floral hops, but the booze is like big and present. So the, that kind of mutes the flavor a little bit, but as you drink it, the aftertaste is actually, it's a fairly dry finish. It's got a kind of a long finish to it. And the aftertaste is of like raisiny, datey things. If I didn't know that it was exactly dates and figs in this, I would call it raisins or maybe dates. But let me get another taste of this because we're going to give a grade because this is one I'm going to kick it and sip. You don't pound this because, yeah, you're going to get pounded. You know what? As it opens and your palate gets invaded by this beer a little bit more, Actually, you get, I'm getting a little bit more like earthy bitterness in this as well. And in some ways, it tastes like some really, really big Martins that I've had before and like lagers that I brew with my buddy UBT. We did like a, like a I think it was like 12 or 13% Martin. And it, it tasted kind of like that. It's like a really big malt forward beer with tons of flavor, fruitiness in there, and then kind of like that bitter, a little bit of a bitter back end. This is one that I think when it sellers, it's going to be a gorgeous beer. But right now, like I said, if you're not into aggressively boozy beers, because this is aggressively boozy, and one that you can't, you got, you can't like uh, sit down on and park on and just chug. You know what? This ain't the beer for you. But I'm going back on things again. Let's grade it. So, rate beer. It's over 10%. Whatever. They're giving it a 97. Duh. A almost A plus. Beer Advocate is giving this an 88. Now, these are cumulative grades, okay, for these two. So, the 88, I think, for a cumulative grade, because there are cellar grades in there as well, I think that grade's a little bit low. 97 may be a little bit high, definitely, for this fresh. Now, Untap is giving this 4.07 caps for this 2017 vintage. So, what, are we, I'm, what am I going to grade this? Hmm. Let me take one more taste. I'm, I'm torn before I'm going to give it here. For a really big monster of a beer, it's boozy, but it's tamed by the fact that it's got a malt freaking freight train in this. And it doesn't really taste overly sweet, even though it's a 15 percenter. Though I'm sure as the sellers, the sweetness will come up as the alcohol recedes into the esters and oxidation of the beer. Um, I'm going to go with an A-, minus, I think, on this right now. I'm going to go just into the A- minus range, like 91. It's better than a B+. Plus but it's not a level yet because it's so big and aggressive. And if I were only, if I was not to know this was beer and it was totally flat, you, I might think it was liquor. It's, it's that much in your grill. Some of the other dogfish heads don't hit me as, as boozy as this one does, but I know for a fact cellar because I've had this beer cellar before. It really does cellar into something awesome. And I wanted to do it fresh because I'm going to definitely go back on these one day, whenever I remember to do so. <laughs> Got the beer memory, you know, and re review this. So I'm giving it a minus to Dogfish Head, Head's Old School Barley Wine 2017 edition. Have you had this beer or another version of the Dogfish Head Old School? Let me know. I would like the quid pro quo on that and the back and forth because that freaking rocks. And it's also. <laughs> it's also, you know, getting into, like, rock and awesome land when you think locally drink. Locally, I'm getting it done. I'm supporting my local craft brewers. Are you doing the same thing? Because that helps this whole thing grow. It's also exceedingly awesome when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us. You know what you got to do after that. You got to smash that like button because that would definitely... Definitely only one bottle of old school barley wine is all I am going to need tonight to kick it chill and put my big ass beer drinking drunkard happy face on. So, to the next DJ's Brew 2, I have nothing but a huge bunch of local, 
Oh, yeah, I gotta say it like that. Drinking craft beer, love for you. A big thanks to all you guys for watching, and you know what's coming now. That's right, you're ready for it. <sighs> a big pizza!